Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the UML deployment diagram. So, UML deployment diagram is a structural diagram and the deployment diagram visualizes the physical hardware on which the software will be deployed. It portrays the static deployment view of a system. It involves the node and their relationships. A deployment diagram ascertains how software is deployed on a hardware and it maps to the software architecture created in design to the physical system architecture where the software will be executed as a node. Since it involves many nodes, the relationship is shown by utilizing communication path. So, the purpose of a deployment diagram is to represent how the software is installed on a hardware component. A deployment diagram depicts in what manner a software interacts with a hardware to perform its execution. Both the deployment diagram and the component diagram are closely interrelated to each other as they focus upon software and hardware components. The component diagram represents the component of a system whereas the deployment diagram describes how they are actually deployed on the hardware. The deployment diagram does not focus upon the logical component of the system, but it put an attention on the hardware topology. Following are the major purposes of a deployment diagram. First one is to envision the hardware topology of the system. Secondly, to represent the hardware component on which software components are installed. And third one is to describe the processing of node at runtime. The different symbols or notations used in a deployment diagram are first one is a component, second one is an artifact, third one is an interface and fourth one is a node. So there arises a question how to draw a deployment diagram. A deployment diagram portrays the development view of the system. It helps in visualizing the topological view of a system and the deployment diagram incorporates node which are physical hardware. The nodes are used to execute the artifact and the instance of artifacts can be deployed on the instance of node. Since it plays a critical role during the administrative process, it involves the following parameters. Firstly, high performance, second one is scalability, third one is maintainability, fourth one is portability and fifth one is easily understandable. So one of the essential element of the deployment diagram is the node and artifact. So it is necessary to identify all the nodes and the relationship between them. It becomes easier to develop a deployment diagram if all the nodes, artifacts and their relationships are already known. So next we are discussing when to use a deployment diagram. A deployment diagram is mostly employed by network engineers and system administrators with the purpose of representing the deployment of software on the hardware system. It envisions the interactions of software with the hardware to accomplish the execution. The selected hardware must be good quality so that the software can work more efficiently at a faster rate by producing accurate result in no time. The software applications are quite complex these days as they are standalone, distributed, web-based, etc. and so it is necessary to design efficient software. The deployment diagrams can be used for modeling the network and hardware topology of a system, to model the distributed networks and systems, to implement the forwarding and reverse engineering processes, to model the hardware details of a client-server environment, and to model the embedded system. So these are the different activities or different usages of the deployment diagram. So my dear students, in this lecture we have discussed what is a deployment diagram. So as we mentioned, a deployment diagram visualizes the physical hardware on which the softwares are deployed and this UML deployment diagram portrays the static deployment view of a system and it involves the node and their relationships and the deployment diagram ascertain how the software is deployed on the hardware 
and it maps the software architecture created in design to the physical system architecture where the software will be executed as a node. Since it involves many nodes, the relationship is shown by utilizing the communication path. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. Our question is, write notes on UML deployment diagram. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss an example relating to this UML deployment diagram. We are going to discuss about the UML deployment diagram for the online shopping system. So my dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.